In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Enumerate in Python through 10 different examples. What Enumerate allows us to do is to loop through an interval and get both the index and an item at the same exact time. And you can think of interables such as like lists, tuples, and strings. So with this short background out of the way, let's start coding through some examples. All right, let's get started. So example one over here, Enumerate. So what we're going to do is create a list first. We'll say sports and let's throw in a few sports in here. So ultra running cricket and baseball. Run the cell and let's write our for loop. So we're going to say for index and sports in and then enumerate sports right each of these is a sport and we want to get the index of those then we put a colon and we'll say print index and sports and you'll see once we run the cell over here we should have zero for ultra running one for cricket and two for baseball uh, my notebook is running a little slow today for some reason but uh, you can see ultra running zero cricket one and baseball too. And we can also change. We don't necessarily have to have zero, one, two. We could start with one. So let me show you how we can do that. And that'll be example number two. We'll say start with one. So we're gonna keep the same sports, right? And we're gonna keep most of the code here the same, except now after sports, we're gonna add another optional parameter. And we're gonna say start equals one, all right? So now when I run this, and now you can see the ultra running starts with one. We have cricket over here that has two, and then baseball that has three. So those are uh, two quick examples with a list. Now let's take a look at an example with a string. So we'll go over here and say example three string. And let's use the baseball player DiMaggio. So we'll say word equals I'll say DiMaggio, that. And now all we have to do again is for index, and we'll say letter and enumerate, pass in your word, right? And then it prints index letter. What you'll see is we have the index now of every single letter, zero for D, one for I, two for M, and it goes all the way through seven over here. And again, feel free to change that if you want, if you want to start it with one or not. But now let's take a look at tuples. So example four is gonna be tuples. And what we can take a look at over here is we'll say teams equals, and let's put in some baseball teams. So it's of the Rays, of the Yankees, all the Red Sox. Three teams in the AL East. And again, we can literally use essentially the same code, right? And we'll say teams over here. And we'll say index and team enumerate. And then we can print both those out. So you can see we have zero for the Rays, one for the Yankees, and two over there. Okay. Now let's change this up a little bit. We're going to say for our fifth example, so we'll say example five, we're going to convert enumerate into a list. And all we're going to do for this is first, let's say our numbers equal and just throw in some numbers in here. So 17, 27, and 99. That's, and we'll say enumerate list equals list and pass in enumerate and pass in our numbers, right? And then what we do is print enumerate list. And you can see 0, 017, right? 127 and then also 299. And what we can do now is we can also enumerate 
dictionary keys. So for our six example, example six dictionary keys, what we can do on here, let's say dictionary equals, if you wonder why I use those numbers, so we'll say Otani 17, Trouts 27, Judge 99. And then we can do for index and key and enumerate, pass in a dictionary. Print index key, and then what you can do is dictionary and pass in their key that we have over here. And check this out. So we have zero Otani 17, one Trout 27, and then two Judge 99. So to break down this code, we have four index and key, right? In enumerate, we're enumerating the dictionary. Grabbing the index, right? We're grabbing the key, which is Otani. And then we're going to dictionary, grabbing key over here. Then we go to dictionary, pass in our key, and then we can get our numbers associated with that key. All right, let's take a look at example seven now. So example seven enumerates with list comprehension. And uh, this video will be after list comprehension within my Python tutorial series. So if you want to learn about list comprehension, make sure to check that out. But we'll say numbers in here equals 17, 27, and 99, which I believe I already have over here, so I didn't have to do that again. But anyways, we'll have indexed numbers equals, and we're gonna create a new list. We'll have over here index number for index number in enumerate. Pass the numbers. And then what you'll see when we print this out, 0, 17, 1, 27, 2, 99. It's the same thing that we did over here, right? So when we convert from right into a list, we did that with list comprehension, also this line of code and got the same exact results. All right, now we can take a look at enumerating with logic. So this is our eighth example. So enumerates with logic and what we want to do is we're going to print out every other player in this list so let's say we have home run hitters in here equals and let's create our list so we'll have bonds we'll have aaron ruth pujols and rodriguez all right so these are our home run hitters we're going to take a look at then what we can say is for index hitter and enumerate, pass in home run hitters. We're gonna say if index module equals zero, which I misspelled index, so let me fix that really quick. Say print inside over here, we'll have an F string, we'll say even, man, my typing is great. Even index, index, hitter. So we're just filtering for evens, right? Anything odd, we're not gonna be printing out. So you can see zero bonds, two Ruth, and four Rodriguez. Uh, but again, just, it's a very simplistic example, but it's showing you that we can use enumerate and through our for loop, we can filter out specifically based on positions if we wanted to. Um, all right, now we're gonna look at zip. So example nine, enumerate with zip. And we'll do as well have names. Let's put our players in here again. So Otani, Trout, and Judge, right? And then we're gonna have their numbers, which again, it's up over here, so I'm just gonna Paste that in. And here we go. So we're going to say for index, and we'll say names, numbers, 
in and we're going to enumerate rates. Then inside of enumerate, we're going to say zip. We're going to zip these together. So names and numbers. And I have a full video on zip. I literally just uploaded the channel recently. So I recommend you check that out also in this playlist. But uh, we'll say print f index names where's number and then pass in numbers. Right, so zero, our index of zero, right? Otani, and then we're saying where's number 17. Trout, where's 27? And judge, where's 99? What's really cool about zip is essentially you combine names and numbers, right? Both of these are on the zero index. So Otani, 17, Trout and Judge 1, or sorry, Trout and 27, 1, Judge in 99, 2. So we can combine this together, right? We have our index here. Then we've zipped together names and numbers, right? Zip names and numbers. And we're saying in, enumerate. So this just adds a little more complexity on here, but you can do a lot more once you combine enumerate with zip. And you'll see that used quite often. And it's pretty awesome. So what I want to do, one last example over here. Example number 10. Example 10, enumerate update items. So let's say we have home runs in here equals 15, 21, 3. Right. Then we're going to say for index in value and enumerate runs, home runs, pass in our index, equals value times two, right? And we're just multiplying all these home runs here. And like I showed you also, you can always add in logic if you really wanted to, right? You can see 30, 42, 66. So let's say if you wanted to have like an even index, you could do that and then just multiply based around that, or if you wanted an odd index, you could do that as well. Um, countless examples, right? But this was to really build out the building blocks for you guys to understand how you can use enumerate. So again, just to reiterate, essentially what we're doing is we're going through, in this example, list, right? And each of these items in list, they have now their index, 0, 1, 2, when we use enumerate through our for loop. Right, you can change that zero to start with any number that you want. If you want to start with one, go ahead, right? Just pass in that one parameter. Should you also how we could do it with the string, dictionary, as well as tuples. Then also showed you list comprehension and how we could add in logic, right? Index module two. Uh, and also very helpful if you want to utilize zip with enumerate as well, because you can really start adding into more complex examples. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video on enumeration. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We want to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2025. And we're going to be doing that by uploading at least three to four videos every single week. Now, if you want to continue on this basic Python playlist, I have a few videos linked down below in the description. And I have a playlist right over here that you can click to watch more videos.